in this video we are going to discuss about sync function and sampling function so uh, this sync function and sampling function are shown to be similar but those are not same and similar these uh, two functions are just similar not same actually sync function is denoted with sync of lambda in some textbooks in or uh, in some articles you can see like sync of x or sync of t or like anything you can represent the independent variable like anything so here this i am uh, indicating like sync of lambda so here this is a normalized function this is very very important point this is a normalized function whereas coming to sampling function this is denoted with sc of lambda you can denote with sc of t sc of x like anything so now this is unnormalized sync function so this is sim uh, similar to unnormalized sync function this will makes the difference between sync and sampling function uh, so uh, by this point we can say these two functions are not same and similar this is normalized sync function this is similar to unnormalized sync function this unnormalization affects in the diagram you can see the x axis is affected due to that unnormalization you are going to write your x axis as in terms of pi 2 pi and 3 pi whereas here you are going to write the real numbers like 1 2 3 4 like that so now coming to the definition sync function definition will be like this sin pi lambda by pi lambda will be the definition of sync function but it is equivalent to 0 for every uh, discrete interval of lambda that means so the value of sync function will be like this but for every discrete interval of lambda this will be equivalent to 0 you can observe though this function is in the form of sine but for every discrete interval it's uh, it's going to become 0 so now coming to sampling function this is also similar to sync function so like unnormalized sync function so the definition for this sampling function is sa of lambda is equivalent to sin lambda by lambda so this is also equivalent to 0 for lambda is equal to plus or minus pi plus or minus 2 pi so on plus or minus n pi you can see the diagram like this and both sync function and sampling function will show a higher amplitude or higher voltage at t equal to 0 so that means sync of la 0 or sampling of 0 is equivalent to 1 that means the amplitude is equivalent to 1 whenever uh, t or lambda is equivalent to 0 so that means when this x axis is equal to 0 both sync function and sampling function will show higher amplitude that means that is equivalent to 1 if you are uh, considering as unit uh, signal then that is equivalent to 1 if you are considering any higher amplitude signal if you are considering this signals as any higher amplitude signals so that higher amplitude we can notice at t equal to or lambda is equal to or x equal to whatever you are taking as independent variable on x so at 0 you can notice that higher amplitude for both the signals as we are discussing all basic signals as unit signals so here that maximum amplitude of unit signal must be 1 so that's why i consider at t equal to or lambda equal to x equal to 0 so the maximum amplitude we can notice for sampling signal or sync function is equal to 1 this is about sync function and sampling function this is normalized and this is similar to unnormalized sync function so these two are very very important in gate point of view when you are solving the problems related to Fourier transforms and Laplace transform this sync and sampling functions will play major role in options they may give options in terms of sync or sampling so uh, here for example if you got any uh, sign function uh, in your answer then you need to convert into sampling function or sync function according to the options given how you can convert that uh, sine function and uh, sync function sampling function into sync and sampling function i will discuss when we got problems there in fourier transforms and laplace transforms we are having so many examples so which we are converting final answer into sync and sampling functions that means so these uh, two functions will play major role in options that means so in uh, options we will see the option in sync and sampling but whatever we are getting in the answer that is in the form of sine or cos that we need to convert so that conversion 
uh, we will discuss uh, we will discuss later that means in fourier and uh, laplace transforms i will discuss that and here this is the small description about sink and sampling functions